Hi, I'm Mike. It's Tuesday, and that means it's time to tackle the project list. Today, we don't get a darn thing done on our Wyoming Life. So some days you just wake up and you know it's gonna be one of those days. Today, we actually have the project list to tackle, but we also have a semi truck coming over to load up all of our cold cows, the cows that weren't pregnant or that are old or have something wrong with them that we're actually gonna be selling at auction. Semi truck's supposed to be here sometime today. That's the answer that I got. So we're gonna kind of play it by ear. We're gonna get out, we're gonna to try to get a few things done, but we're not gonna get anything done. We're gonna basically kind of get set up to get something done in the future, if that makes any sense. The first project that we have is we're gonna go back about five miles on the ranch and we're gonna pick up the harrow. If you remember the harrow from this spring, we use it uh, for cleaning up fields, basically. Whether it's in the spring or even during the winter, uh, we can go out and we can knock down uh, piles of manure. In the spring, we use it to kind of fluff up uh, hay fields and get them ready for rain season and that kind of thing so that we actually have some hay. That harrow is, like I said, about five miles back. Mitch ran it last spring and basically he beat the crap out of it. It needs some work, but before we can work on it, we need to get it back home. So that's gonna be one of our projects today. The other one is Aaron's new high tunnel. The new high tunnel isn't here yet. It's not even ready to be built, but there's a lot of dirt work that needs to be done. The ground isn't level where we wanna put it, right next to the old high tunnel. So we're gonna be hauling in some dirt and working on leveling that out while we're waiting for this truck to show up so that we can haul cows away. There's no time like the present, so let's get to it. We've got about a 20 minute tractor ride down to the Harrow. It's about five miles away and we can average about 10 miles per hour in the tractor on the main ranch road. As we drive past the cows, I've already fed them this morning and they pay us no mind. A fed cow is a happy cow and we leave them to eating. Driving a tractor, well, it can be boring. They aren't made for too much comfort, but the heater works and the view is nice. It's about 35 degrees outside. We're looking for a high today of 55, which is actually pretty uncommon for this time in December. Not much snow on the ground and clear skies. When we finally get to the Harrow, which we parked down here last summer, we can back up to it and get ready to hook it up and tow it back closer to the shop for repairs. When we used it last, Mitch, our summer ranch hand, ran it and he used it a lot. Over time, bolts came loose, some welds broke, and it just needs some TLC. That's why we're gonna take it back home, so we can use it this winter when the ground freezes enough that we can pull it over the home pastures to knock down manure and keep it from building up in the winter pastures. Hooking up to it is easy enough. All we have to do is drop the pin through the hitch and take off the jack, and we're ready to go. The ride home is going to take even longer than the drive down here, mostly because we just have to go a little bit slower with this thing behind us. The other tricky thing about pulling an implement this big is that our gates are only so wide. The harrow is about 16 feet wide. Our cattle guards are about 16 feet wide. So each cattle guard that we go through, we have to be a little bit careful. There's a total of six cattle guards that we're going to have to drive through with this thing to get back to the main ranch. Each cattle guard is a little different. Some are wider, some are narrower, and some are tricky, and some are not. Eventually, though, we make it back to the hay yard where we're going to park this thing until we get a chance to work on it. Again, we go ahead and just disconnect it and leave it be as we head back to the ranch and back to the shop for our next project. Okay, with the Harrow back, um, well, we're not going to do anything with it, but we can get started on thinking about what we're going to do with it. And now we can move on to a different project uh, that we need to get done. So Aaron's 
high tunnel, the first high tunnel, is already built. The next one will be built in the spring. The problem is that the area where we're gonna build it, there's a little bit of a slope to it. We wanna actually level it out. So over the past few days, I've went out, I've staked it out. I've got uh, the levels of where I need to bring dirt up to. Now it's time to bring dirt in and start filling that area. We're gonna head over to a big old pile of dirt that we've uh, saved up from when my mother-in-law built her house. We dug out her basement, so we've got a bunch of extra dirt there. We're gonna use that. We're gonna start laying that in and start leveling that out. We're not gonna get done because we're still waiting for this truck to show up so that we can load cold cows and get them out of here and off to auction. And I have no idea when it's gonna be here. It could show up at any time. So we're gonna try to get something done. We're gonna get started on it. I guess we also need to take the row cover off of the plants that are in the existing tunnel um, so that they can get some sun. So we're gonna do that as well. So we're gonna jump in this tractor, the other tractor. This is a 6410 tractor. It's got a loader on it. So that'll help out with, uh, with moving the dirt. We keep it plugged in on this side of the barn just because this side of the barn is not heated. So we make sure that we keep it plugged in all the time so that it can start, hopefully, and uh, we'll be able to use it. It's about 40 degrees outside and in the high tunnel, it's quite a bit warmer. I don't know what the exact temperature is in here, but let's go down and take a look. It's 40 degrees outside, inside the high tunnel, about 105. The row cover is actually used to protect the plants that Erin's growing in here for her winter garden season uh, during the cold weather. Obviously when it's 105 degrees in here, they don't need that protection and they'd probably enjoy some sun. So we're gonna take off all of this row cover and let her plants breathe a bit. Well guys, uh, there goes the truck that I've been waiting all day for. And uh, it kind of got me, it kind of interrupted uh, what I was doing a little bit, but that's okay, it kind of cuts this one short. So that's it for the project list for this week. Uh, those cows are the cold cows that weren't pregnant uh, that have to go, so they've, been loaded in that truck and they're taken off for Buffalo, Wyoming, where they'll be sold on Wednesday. So that's how that works. Thanks for uh, coming out and joining me for another uh, installment of the project list. Make sure if you haven't done so already to subscribe. We've got a video coming out Sunday morning. I was gonna make it part of it about loading these guys up, but that didn't work out that way because camera issues and some other things happened. So I'll come up with something for a Sunday video. Also coming up on Thursday, Thursday night, 7 p.m. We've got our uh, live stream with myself and Aaron. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna answer some questions and, uh, and talk a little bit about our life here on the ranch. So. Stick around, lots more on the way. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, and as always, have a great week. And thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life.